When we were at the, uh, when we had our Gym Lord Summit uh, at the end of January, uh, one of the gym owners' names was uh, Jason Skisick, and he asked a question that kind of stuck with me because it was just so, um, it was so relevant, you know what I mean? And it was something that a lot of people I knew were suffering from. And so I want to tie, tie, tie together a little bow here that I think you'll be able to take home, a little nugget um, from this. So when we were at the event, he asked, he's like, hey, um, you know, uh, I'm making all this money. And uh, Jason's probably made about $150,000 um, using just like an additional revenue using our system, probably in the last like four or five months, somewhere in there. And so he was like, hey, like this, you know, we've tripled our EFT and... Um, we're, you know, I'm, I'm making money every month. So like, what should I do? Right. <laughs> Which like made me like crack up. Cause it was just like, so, so it's like such an entrepreneur question, right? Is that like, all we want to do is just figure out the equation. And then we're like, what next? And the thing is, is like, we have to retrain ourselves. Cause like, once you figure out the equation comes, the boring stuff is just doing it again, over and over and over again. And because the boring stuff is what makes you money, right? And I'm gonna give you two parallels here. One is, so when I uh, when I was, you know, I had my gyms. Uh, I, like the thing I used to get was, you know, and I'm sure you guys get the same thing. It's like somebody, you know, a guy walks in. And I'm like, so what's your goal? And they're like, I want to look like you. And I'm like, awesome. And so they sign up, and then, you know, four months in, they'd be like, hey, like this is awesome. I'm really loving everything, but like, how long do I look like you, right? <laughs> And, um, they're like, are they like, what do I need to change? Like, do I need to be taking different supplements? Do I need to be like doing, you know, more workouts, whatever. And, and I was like, no, nah, man, like you're working out, like you're lifting weights, you're counting your macros, like you're good. I've just done <laughs> this bulk cut cycle for 15 straight years <laughs> and you've done it for four months. And I was like, so right now I've done 45 times, I've, I've spent 45 times more time under the bar than you have. So like. Yeah, that's all. But like, it's just being consistent, right? It's, it's nothing, it's nothing complicated. It's just being consistent. And so business and lifting are really similar is that they're simple, not easy, simple to understand, hard to do. Right. And so, and here's the, here's the, the loop here. So if that's how it is in lifting, and most of us know that to be true is like, like, it's not like, like, Hey, I'm providing exceptional customer service. And, um, you know, we're starting to get referrals. Like, what do we do now? It's like, you keep doing it, right? That's it. And sometimes, and the thing is, is it's boring as hell. It really is. Because we want to figure out something new, want to figure out something sexy. But the reality is that most times what happens is we get into this scarcity zone, right? Where we're like, oh, shoot, I need to make some money. And then you go back to doing the things that you know that make money, right? And then you're like, whew. Okay, I'm out of the danger zone. Now I'm gonna go do fun stuff. And then all of a sudden you stop making money because you're like, I wanna figure out something new, something ninja, something sexy, something cool. But like when I was in college, there was a class called entrepreneurship and I took it, it had nothing to do with entrepreneurship. Um, but, but everyone had to come up and like make their own business plans, and, like pitch an idea and that kind of thing because that's how colleges tell you that business works, right? They're like, you're gonna have an idea and you're gonna get investors and and you're gonna have a business plan. <laughs> I've never had a business plan. Um, Cause things change, right? All the time. But um, but anyways, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, the, uh, the, the entrepreneurship class. And so um, everyone thought they needed to pitch something new, something crazy. But the reality is that like, most businesses just like suck at doing things. Most people don't try. And so in order to take a marketplace, right? And like absolutely dominate, you just need to do what you said you were gonna do, right? Like that's honestly how we've gone from zero to the biggest coaching company by far, by a long shot, like three times higher revenue than anyone else who's even in the space, right? Just because we did what we said we were gonna do. That's all, it's not like we have a different business model. There's nothing new, right? Um, about our model. I mean, some of the tactics that we have are, are better. And that's the difference is that we do what we said we were going to do. You know what I mean? But the actual things that we're promising are not different. Right. And so that's, that's the thing is that most people think they need to have a different promise when really they just need to have better delivery. Right. And so like I used Chipotle as an example all the time, but like Chipotle became the biggest, baddest Mexican restaurant like ever 
it's not like they do anything different. It's not like they're like cooking like pheasant or something. You know what I mean? Like they make chicken salsa and rice. They do the same things. They do them better. Right. And so a lot of times in business, we want to get distracted and start chasing new shiny objects when we already know what makes us money and you just have to do the boring stuff. Like, like look at our business, right? We sell two things. We have an acquisition process, which is gym launch, which is just like what I teach all the gyms who come into gym launch is like, we, we basically create the same model over and over again, which is we acquire customers at a profit and then we transition them over to EFT. For me, my EFT is gym legacy, right? That's our long-term play. So like I do the same, it's the same business, right? I sell two things though, front end and I have a back end. And like the gyms actually have two levels. They have two front ends and two back ends that we teach the second levels in legacy. And I explain that, but, um, but like, that's it. That's all we've done. So two things, <laughs> one front end, one back end. That's it. And the thing is, is that it's hard to be consistent. It's hard seven months in to still get on the sales guys and be like, are you working the leads properly? Are you reaching out fast enough? Because like, we just get bored as entrepreneurs. But the thing is, is that boring makes you money right? Giving exceptional customer service makes you money, right? Like leading your team makes you money. Like having great classes, making sure the music is tight. You know what I mean? Makes you money. Is it fun? No, not at all. But it's a fallacy that you just need to get out of your head, which is like, and, and kind of to tie this to back to what your Jason, Jason asks is like, Hey, I'm making money. <laughs> what do I do? You keep doing it over and over and over and over again because that's the point of the game that's how you win right it's like i'm working out i'm getting results what do i do now you keep doing it you keep sticking to your macros you keep lifting but we're like oh man i want to change my plan up i want to get some different periodization in i want to start doing carb cycling you're losing weight keep doing it right it's the same thing but we follow the same trap that our own customers do and so I hope this, um, hope this speaks to somebody because I just want to tell you guys, like I get bored out of my mind too. Sometimes I really do. Cause I'm like, God, I want to do some like, like I want to do something new and sexy. It's like, but, but no, but this works. Like I would love to advertise something different on the front end instead of a free case study. I really would. I, it kills me sometimes. Right. But it works. And so I got to keep doing it. I got to keep doing it. I got to keep managing the team. I got to keep leading, right? <laughs> Even though sometimes you don't want to. Because, and like, these are lessons that I'm telling you that I've learned that took me so long to learn. And I lost so much money because I just, I just kept doing different stuff. And I already knew what made me money. I already knew it. And I still would do different stuff. Because I'm like, hey, this works. Let's see if this works better, right? But if you know what works, right? You keep doing it. It's being consistent, right? So anyways, um, <laughs> most successful businesses are not new businesses. They're doing what old businesses were supposed to do. Provide exceptional customer service. Do what you said you were going to do. Be on time. Be nice. Right? Simple stuff. Simple. Not easy.